Hey guys, I got a brand new video for you today, and today we're looking at something a little different. Obviously, Fuji has added a couple firmware updates now to the X-T2, and in the first firmware update, they added tethered shooting, which is pretty awesome. Um, obviously, in the next firmware update, I think they're coming out with wireless tethered shooting that I saw. I don't know how that's going to work and how well that will actually transfer as far as like speed-wise, but now we have USB 3 tethered shooting with the X-T2, and I thought that I would make a video just kind of showing you guys how it works. Uh, I don't shoot in the studio very often. I do a lot of outdoor stuff. But I thought that I would do this video for you guys in the studio uh, with a friend of mine. She has a YouTube channel as well. And uh, she does like makeup tutorials and stuff like that. So I thought it would be cool to do a little collab. Um, you know, just she does the makeup looks and then we do the photo shoot with those looks. And uh, it's just a quick little video just to show you guys how it works. And I'm going to be showing you guys the free X Acquire plugin that Fuji has that works with Lightroom. Um, it doesn't really work the same way as Adobe's Tethered Shooter Pro plugin or whatever they call it. Um, you got to pay for that. But uh, this plugin's free and it works pretty good. I'm going to show you guys how to set it up and actually the transfer speed and like you know transferring over a RAW file right as soon as you take it. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and show you guys how to set it up. So I had to Google where to find the plugin because I couldn't find it on the site, but I'll put the link in the description how to get to this part of the site to download X Acquire Tethered Shooting. Um, choose your version. I'm using a Mac in this case. And it's gonna bring us to the site where you download it and it's version 1.4. So I'll just click begin download. And it doesn't take too long, it's pretty small. Once it's finished downloading, you're going to want to copy it to your application folder, or if you're on a Windows, you might have to actually install it. Then open it up, and it's going to put a little icon at the top here. And first we're going to set up our folder where the images are going to be brought in off the camera and saved to. So I just made a folder on my desktop, and I called it Tether Shoot, and that's where it's going to save the images. I'm going to set the preferences. This is where you can allow it to bring in JPEG or RAW. In this case, I'm going to do both. Then you're going to want to open up Lightroom. And this is where things are a little bit different than using the normal Adobe Tethered plugin. Um, so Tethered Capture, we're going to go to Auto Import. And then we're going to choose the folder where Lightroom is going to pull the images from. And that was the folder that I created. And then destination, uh, I made another folder inside of Tether Shoot and just called it Lightroom. And then make sure you have enable auto import. Then on the camera, go to the menu, down to the wrench. Go to connection setting, PC shoot mode, and then set it to USB auto. Then plug in your USB 3 cable into the camera and then the other end into your computer. Then inside of Lightroom, uh, you go show window and this actually shows all the settings on your camera in real time. Then you're basically good to go. Okay, so I had a bit of a malfunction. Um, obviously, I didn't record any audio at all for this part in the intro that I was shooting where I was talking about Marissa and her channel and the camera I was using. Um, I'm using the X-T2 with the 50 to 140 2.8 and I'm using the Cactus V6 II trigger as well as one Cactus RF60 flash and uh, obviously another trigger with a Canon 430EX2 flash. And just a simple setup, just with two speed lights. And I also used an Octobox at one point. But we did two different looks, kind of like a gothic look, and then another more kind of like bright look. And uh, this is just what she chose to do for looks for her makeup channel. I'll put links in the description where you can find her channel uh, to the videos where she does the makeup looks, if you're interested. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to jump right into the video right now. Unfortunately, I didn't record any audio at all, so this is just me talking over what I was actually going to say. So I just had a super simple setup, just two speed lights using the Rogue flash grid on both of them. And uh, yeah, I just moved the lights around, tried different things, so check it out.
Now this time I just kept taking shots and watch the laptop and you'll see how fast the files are transferring over in multiple shots. Keep in mind I'm importing JPEG and RAW. Okay, so I just wanted to set up a little timer to show you how quick it is to transfer from the camera into Lightroom through the plugin, starting now. This is JPEG and RAW. It takes roughly around six seconds. Now, if we go into the preferences and turn off RAW and just only import JPEG, I'll take a look at the speed now. So it comes in around four and a half, five seconds. It's not really that much faster, but it is a little quicker. All right, guys, thanks for watching this little video. The tethering uh, just kind of gives you a better example of how it works. And it was kind of my first time using this camera doing tethering. And I just want to say thanks to Marissa for helping me out. What's all your social media? Oh, goodness. Uh, YouTube.com slash Marissa Emma with two A's at the end. My Instagram is Marissa Emma and Twitter is Marissa Emma underscore. Is that your middle name? Yeah. I didn't know that. I really like my middle name. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice, and I'll see you in the next one.